With five weeks to go in the regular season, all division leaders have some breathing room in their quest to finish first in their respective KIJHL divisions. The league-leading Sears Coyotes had the easiest weekend of the bunch. They didn't play as they have built up a collection of games in hand. Ernie, who is chasing the Sioux to that overall lead, had their worst weekend of the season. That's two losses. Kimberly came into Fernie and left with two points as Keenan Haas and Jason Richter each tallied twice for the Dynamiters. Then Fernie fans were amazed to see their team lose their second home game of the weekend. Preston Valley turning up the offense and beating the Ghost Riders 4-3, scoring three times in the third period. And in the second and third period, the outshot the hometowners 34 to 11. First back-to-back -back losses of the year for Fernie. And Creston Valley continue with winning ways. They dropped the Columbia Valley Rockies Friday at home five to two. Carson Cartwright scoring the first three goals for the Thundercats with the natural hat trick. Then on Sunday, the Thundercats made Kyle Richter's power play goal near the end of the second period stand up as the winner in a 2-1 game, edging Princeton Posse, even though the Posse outshot them 33-16 in the game. Kimberly continued on Saturday night with their hot weekend. They made the Rockets fizzle, right in Golden with an 8-1 Trousy. Braden Soretsky with two goals and a helper in that one. Beaver Valley lost 2-1 to one in Spokane as a pair of power play goals by the Braves midway through the final period were the margin of victory. The following night, they plowed through Grand Forks 12-3 as Tyler Hartman had a four-goal performance. Castlegar stayed in the hump with a 4-2 win over the Grizzlies and Rebels stole because Aaron Petten scored twice for the Rebels, but the Grizzlies outshot them 54-25 in a losing cause. Then the Rebels continue with a 5-2 win in 100 Mile House. Jerry McNeil had a pair while Brad Harris scored twice for the losing Wranglers. Sunday afternoon saw the Rebels though run out of gas and Kamloops losing 4-3 and the Storm outplaying them by a 49-23 shots on goal differential. Nelson and Spokane at a home and home series both won the home games. Nelson winning 5-1 as Race Miller led the way with two goals. Then Spokane won 5-2 Sunday afternoon as Dylan Bogart scored two and assisted on another. 31 penalties in this one, 16 of them coming in the final six and a half minutes of the third period. However, from what I've seen of officiating at Spokane, they just don't seem to have the quality referee. It's mostly due to a lack of hockey officials in the Spokane area. The Princeton Posse's three-game trip to the Eddy Mountain had them losing 6-4 in Golden, then beating the Rockies 5-1, led by Curtis Klinger's two goals, then that Sunday afternoon loss in Creston. Meanwhile, Summerland won a pair in the weekend, beating Chase 3-2 as Jack Mills' second goal of the game with two minutes left in the second overtime was the winner. Then the steam put it to the North Okanagan 7-2 on Sunday. Wyatt Gill scoring twice, and the weekend also saw the return of Dale and Robertson and Paulson Latard to the steam lineup. Kelowna Chiefs only played one game. It was a 4-3 loss to the hands of the Storm and Canloops. Nick Joseph returns to the Chiefs lineup. He scored twice and assisted on another of Kelowna's goals. Chase Heat dumped 100 Mile House 4-3 with Caleb Boyle nailing the winner in the first overtime period. He outshot the Wranglers 39-38. The go-ahead shot on net, also the winning shot on goal. And after the Sycamus Eagles took a 1-0 first period lead at home to Revelstoke, the Grizzlies then wrapped up the next six goals in succession before the Eagles scored two later in the third period for a 6-3 win by the Grizzlies. And the Grizzlies, the only fifth place team that still has a shot at making the playoffs. Speaking of that, here's how the standings shake out as we approach mid-January. The Idle Coyotes lead the KIJHL and the Okanagan with 67 points. Summerland is 50, Princeton 40, Kelowna 33, North Okanagan 14. Eddie Mountain has Fernie with 59, Creston Valley 47, Kimberly 46, Golden 45, Columbia Valley with 20. Beaver Valley continues to lead the Murdoch Quintet with 55 points. 
Nelson and Castlegar at 50, Spokane 46, and Grand Forks at 20. In Kamloops leads the Burke Division with 50, while Sycamus and Chase at 44, 100 Mile House at 33, and Revelstoke at 36. In the KIJHL scoring race, Bernie's Doan Smith continues to lead with 29 goals, 24 assists for 53 points. Jason Richter of Kimberly with four goals and two assists on the weekend moves into second spot with 51 points. While Coyotes, Troy McLeese is third with 49, Reiner Glimpel fourth with 48. Goaltender Bailey Stevens of Princeton leads goaltenders with a 1.76 average. While Coyotes' Brett Souls is 2.07 and Lawrence Langan at 2.47. Upcoming games coming up. Creston at Kimberly Tuesday night. Creston with a four-game winning streak. Kimberly with a three-game going. One will end. Summerland at Kelowna on Tuesday. Both teams with rejuvenated lineups. Friday night, Fernie at Creston. Fernie looking to stop their longest losing streak of the year at two games. 100 Mile House at Kamloops, Chase in Revelstoke, Castle Gar at Spokane, and Kimberly at Asuyus, who takes a seven game winning streak into that one. But we'll see if the Dynamiters were softened up a bit by Creston earlier in the week. The Chuckaduck jackpot in Asuyus now resting at $550. If you can't take in the games live, check out the KIJHL action on pay per view at KIJHL.ca and go to the webcast area. I'm Tom Shields with a KIJHL update for Cairo Radio and a Soyuz 106.5 FM. <laughs>